From the Indigenous Peoples March to the Women's March to MLK Day, security and preparation for this weekend was critical. Krum 2's Casey Decker spoke with Spokane Police about their readiness for the thousands that were downtown the past few days. It was a weekend of activism in downtown Spokane. On Friday, hundreds demonstrated in the Indigenous Peoples March. On Saturday, roughly 3,000 in the Women's March, and today, another 3,000 for the MLK Day March. All that marching required a lot of advanced planning, and a sergeant for the Spokane Police Department says because of that planning, the weekend went off without a hitch. Uh, very smooth. No issues that couldn't be handled. Um, all the organizers did a good job putting everything together, which makes our job a lot easier. Several streets downtown were either partially or totally blocked off, and there were plenty of police to ensure security. We have what you see visibly, which is all of the different officers working traffic control. Um, you see different officers working what would be posts for security. And then there's a lot that you don't see, kind of behind the scenes, both around the event and at the perimeters of the event to ensure everybody's safety and make sure everything goes well. After each march, police promptly moved demonstrators off the street so they could reopen on time. Anytime we come together as a community downtown, we're going to impact the flow of traffic, but nothing again that isn't managed and most people are very patient. Both the police and the organizers said the two groups worked well together to set up this weekend's events. They've got this down now, now that they know that this is something that looks like it's going to be going on a while. And for the most part, I've heard no complaints. Everything seems to have gone really well. In downtown Spokane, Casey Decker, Krem 2 News.